Okay, well, good afternoon, everybody. This is Meredith Copeland with the VSA and Financial Services Online, and we are so glad that you are able to join us today for a quick webinar and a quick review over our priority planning pieces. Um, today's call is going to be real quick. There's not a whole lot to cover. It's really self-explanatory, but we want to share a few of the tips and tricks and really just ways that the VSA operates that you see under the priority approaches. If you will, go ahead and do, let's do some housekeeping stuff first. If you can mute your line, that would be fantastic for everybody's listening pleasure. If you can view your, my screen on your computer, let me know, send me a thumbs up. And if you can hear me okay, that would be great as well. We're gonna use the chat box today within GoToMeeting for any questions that you have. Um, so as you have questions, type those in and I'll be sure to um, answer those as well as we go. What, where we're gonna start today, I wanna do a few more housekeeping items that are about the VSA. And so let me get my screen going here. Fantastic, thank you so much, Lisa, for letting me know that you can see and hear everything. And as the screens rotate through, y'all let me know if they are rotating too fast or anything like that, okay? Just use your chat window and let me know that. The first thing that I want to remind you guys about is that we are offering webinars every week and so here is our webinar registration link. You can see that we're doing priority planning today. Newsletters and presentations are gonna be the next two weeks, so we hope you join us for that as well. And the VSA has a brand new affiliate program that we are launching. We are, gosh, in our second week of launch. And so if you're interested in that affiliate program, here's our affiliate application. It's pretty simple. You get paid for referrals that you send in to the VSA if you are a registered affiliate with us. And so if you're interested in that, let us know and we can schedule a conversation to have more info on that. And then let's just go ahead and jump right on in to the VSA in the main menu. The priority planning approaches under the VSA are under client tools. And so when you get to the VSA, this is going to be your main menu over on the left-hand side, you're gonna see some navigation. You can get the client tools either on the main menu or this left navigation bar will always stay there. And so you can rotate from one section of the VSA into another directly from that. And you no longer have to go back to the main menu. Across the top in the header, you're gonna have your um, administrative pieces on that. So all of the settings for your VSA are gonna be found there. If you need help or if you would like to see the guided tour, you can go there again along the header under help. And then news is going to be the things that we are launching or that we are doing new. And so you can see back in September 1st, we added some new contacts on tax diversification. All right, so that's where you're going to find all your BSA news. So let's hop straight into priority approaches. So really, when it comes to priority approaching and priority planning, really self-explanatory, right? You are trying to prioritize their financial needs of your clients um, and really where they need to start going. And so when you first get to the personal planning or the priority planning approaches, you're gonna see that the report type you get to choose between personalized and syllable. Just like any other content piece within the VSA, the two things you want to remember, personalized, is great if you want your business card, your picture, all of that information showing up on the cover page, and you can type in who you're presenting this to. It's great for that. It is not great for if you're wanting them to fill it out online and send it back to you. Because the personalized piece, you can't fill it out online or within your computer. It's not all completely electronic. When you choose syllable, your picture and your business card and who you're preparing it for, all of that information on the cover page goes away. However, it completely turns into a full fillable document. So nobody has to have a printer. They don't have to have a fax or anything like that to fill that out before they bring it back into you. So fillable is great if you want them to fill it out and send it back to you by email. Personalized is great for if you're going to fill it out with them. 
I personally like personalized for when you're face to face with them. So I'm going to show you the personalized piece of the document in our example today. The name of the prospect and the date you can put in there, the date you're actually going to meet with them. I'm going to use my name today. I'll use my maiden name so we can separate out which is which. And I'm going to choose the priority planning review with PNC insurance. You can see we have it really broken down between the full reviews or the abbreviated reviews, and then you've got just a quick plans and priority review. I'm gonna show you today the full personal priority planning review with PNC insurance so that it covers really kind of all of our bases on the example. All right, so you'll choose the piece of content that you want. You'll scroll down to the page and hit submit. This submit button will bring you to the iconic page of the view save email option that you have within the VSA throughout all of our pieces of content. I like to view everything first. So we're gonna hit view. One thing to remember, and I think I mentioned this in almost every webinar that I have, when you hit view, especially when using the fillable format, your internet browser does a really good job of kind of tricking us to think that we're in Adobe. It looks really well, and they do really great with their own PDF readers. Sometimes there's some quirks and some little glitches that happen when they update their browsers. And so if that's the case, you just want to hover along the top here and then hit that download. Then you can open it up in your own PDF reader on your computer. Okay, so what we're seeing here, this is the cover page. You can see that it's pretty um, uniform with all the other pieces of content throughout the VSA. This particular priority planning review is only about five pages long. You're gonna see all of my business card information here and the date in which we are having the meeting and then who I've prepared it for is up here at the top. Okay, and I'll quickly show you all the difference in the trifold and the fillable format as well. If we scroll through, you can see that all this information is really meant to be filled out for them or by them. You can fill it out for them if you want to. It's really just on your own um, approach that you like to take in your practice. Uh, and it makes it so easy because the, once they get to the planning profile, it's just a yes, no, or an I don't know. Okay, so you kind of go in, you kind of see a little bit of where they stand with these questions on where, how in tune with their financial situation are they already. Then you get to the financial statement. This is not gonna be a full financial statement for them, but it does give you a good starting point or maybe a continuation standpoint. Most of our agents use the priority planning um, after they've already had kind of their onboarding meeting. However, this can also be used as the very first meeting that you have with a prospect in a brand new client. It's really, again, kind of goes back to that personality of your practice. So here under the financial statement, you're gonna get a really good idea of what they've got and then where their priorities are. So they get to prioritize them for you, just in a high, medium, and low. And then you can go through with your conversations with them and really kind of pinpoint just how high is that or how low is that. Sometimes, you know, people have a hard time differentiate, differentiating the difference between high, medium, and low because they don't want to choose. Um, that's just human nature. And so if they put, I don't know, or it's not applicable, to them, then that allows you to have a little bit more of a conversation as well. Maybe they have a need that nobody's just uncovered for them or they haven't really thought through yet. Their current priorities are going to be kind of where they're at today. You know, what do we want to tackle now and that needs to be done immediately almost, okay? And then future plans. So if you're, you can see on here that it's got marriage Funny, they don't have divorce on here. I don't think anybody would tell you that in the meeting, but if you've got a young adult that is single, then maybe they are having plans for marriage or for children. Uh, maybe you've got a young couple that they're just thinking about children as well. And so that completely drastically changes the route in which kind of you plan and where you save. Same thing with um, weight gain or losing weight and smoking, you know, you can take smoking one more step and go to, you know, how many drinks do you have a week as well. 
that's all going to have a great effect on any life insurance products you want to talk to them about. And then it's got a business owner section here as well. So whether they own a big business or if it's just a small mom and pop um, type business as well, they still have got to think about what legacies they're going to have. Do they have any employees and what that looks like for them? Okay. And then down here, it's just going to be introductions for family members. So what I like about this is this one gives you a really who can I talk to, who might be calling me, who is helping you and your family that is important to knowing your financial planning piece. The other piece to that is you've got some great referrals right here, right? We offer five lines. Some families are bigger, some can't fill it all out. But the idea of there being five spots makes them feel like there should be five people there that we can put it in. And that's really the quick full view of that priority planning. So I told you guys it was gonna be quick today. Um, what I'm gonna do is I do wanna take it back a step and I wanna show you the difference on the syllable and on the trifold. Typically I'm not a fan of trifold presentations, but these actually work out pretty well, especially if you're gonna be doing any uh, expos or just have anything out on your lobby tables. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit syllable instead of personalized. So you can see when I hit syllable that some of the options went away. There is no trifold option under syllable. And that's really because trifolds are meant to be emailed out, or not emailed out, but actually mailed out. There are Okay, so the first one I'm going to use that same example. Go hit submit. We'll get the view save email page again. We're going to hit view. And the first thing you're going to see is that that cover page shows up blank. All right, so you can go in, you can see the cursor is going to show up there, and that's where you're going to type it in. Okay, type in who you're filling it in for. Same thing here, right? So you're going to put that cursor right there and then you can type in all your business card information as well all right then down here all the forms are fillable and so you can see that they can start typing in all their information all right and you can see just how friendly it is really on an electronic standpoint okay so that is the fillable piece great for emails great um, if you are wanting them to submit it or anything. So great electronic onboarding package for any clients or annual reviews for any clients that you're doing. Now that we're back up to the priority planning menu again, I'm going to show you the trifold and really just how well this one actually looks in the trifold piece. It's a lot more condensed. There's not near as much room to write down anything. Of course, there's not a whole lot of things that you have to fill in. There's a lot of check in the blank pieces here. And we've got an error, which is odd because that worked right before the call today. So let me do this again. Make sure I've got everything filled out here correctly. Most of the time when you get an error, it is because something's missing or is improperly selected on the menu page. So when we hit submit, let's see if this fixes that. And it looks like my internet is stalling. So can you guys still hear me okay and still see the screen? Let me know, give me a quick thumbs up if so. We'll try to refresh the page and see if that helps me. Okay, it looks like I'm gonna to have to email it out to you guys to show you, which maybe, maybe it'll work. Yes, it does, fantastic. Okay, so no email needed, uh, but this is the trifold information here. And so you can see that one page, you're gonna have all the information, the other page, you're gonna have this. So when you are using a trifold, the important piece is to print it out on front and back. And that is so as you fold it, like you would a you know, brochure, 
of some sort, it folds nicely on front and back. Otherwise, you're going to end up with two pages with only one side, and it's not going to fold very friendly. Um, but the trifold is great um, in this particular piece. It's one of my favorite trifolds that we have. And so that really wraps up the presentation I have right at 15 minutes. So that's great. We do have a couple of questions that I want to answer. And so one says they actually need a tool to access the impact of divorce on future investment spending and saving goals. Any suggestions? Yes, I do have suggestions. And so Lisa, while we are here and we've got a little bit of time, let me show you that. Um, I'm gonna wrap up this priority planning piece so priority planning is great when you already kind of know what's happening, right? But if you are preparing for something, so let's say you're preparing for divorce, preparing for the death of a loved one. One of my favorite pieces for anything like that, Lisa, is our life guides. And our life guides, what they do is they really take um, into account and help your clients self-discover maybe how this is going to affect them and what they need to be thinking about if they're dealing with a divorce or maybe planning for a divorce. And so let me show you that real quick. So again, real quick, we are under client tools. We went to life guides. Okay. Life guides right here. That brings us to this menu. Again, life guides can also be fillable and personalized. And we're going to choose dealing with divorce. You can see there's a lot on here. The exact opposite of marriage and money is on here as well. We're going to hit submit. Lisa, these are a lot longer of a piece of content. So you're going to be looking at 10 plus pages in these life guides. And that's really because there's a lot of coaching, just general information that's happening with that. Um, but dealing with divorce really takes you through not only how your investments are going to change, but initiating the divorce, any tax considerations, documents, checklists, all of that. Um, so if you're dealing with divorce, marriage, the death of a loved one, uh, kids with special needs is another one, you're gonna find a lot of that information under Life Guides. We do have a webinar for Life Guides, Lisa, and I'll keep that in mind. I'll try to send you an email to follow up so that you can see when we're gonna do that webinar specifically on Life Guides. You. Fantastic. Well, if we don't have any more questions, then I am going to wrap up. And it looks like everything has been answered. If you do have any last minute questions or you want some more information, feel free to email subscriber services at fsonline.com. I'm going to put that in the chat window right there. And then if you are not a user and you happen to join us today and you see something in the VSA that you would like to take advantage of or subscribe to, please join us at fsonline.com. We do offer a free trial. So that FS Online will take you to this page here. When you hit free trial, you're gonna see all of the options that you have uh, to subscribe to the VSA. And we'd love to bring you on board and help you out with that. Outside of that, if there's not any more questions, I'm going to wrap up today right under 20 minutes. I'm glad you guys were able to join me and let us know if there's anything we can do to help. Hope you have a great rest of your Wednesday. Thank you, guys.